When I think about the way we used to be Sorry. When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I Hey there guys and welcome to a scatter of days in my life As I do every single day I make my porridge I use some kind of yoga or exercise or meditation and I'm very excited to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Hello and welcome to my gorgeous bathroom. So I'm just about to have a shower and I am going to shave my armpits for the first time in two weeks. Huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video who I've worked with before and who I genuinely love. Estrid is hands down my favorite shaving brand that I have ever known to exist. Their razors are cruelty free, vegan, and they're all about female empowerment. Go watch my video on why I don't shave my legs and the shaving industry if you want more context on why this is so important to me. For just £7.95, you get the starter kit, which involves a razor, you get two of these cartridges, you get the wall holder up here. You get to choose from these gorgeous different pastel colors that they have. And if you click the link in my description and use the code unjaded, you donate one pound more to this women's organization in the UK called the Fawcett Society, which is really cool. Highly recommend, I've been using it all summer and we'll continue to use it. Let's go have a shower. So I filmed this day a few weeks ago when it was actually still sunny and bearable outside. I can confirm it's a lot colder now. I have a list of good cafes saved in my phone, so this day I just went to study somewhere. Sometimes I pinch myself that I live here, it's just gorgeous. What a simple luxury to go to a coffee shop to do work. Beautiful. I went to one of my favourite cafes just to get some pre-class work done, and then guess who joined me? <laughs> Lana, my amazing roommate. <laughs> Most of the time I tend to work alone because my issue is I get distracted when I'm around friends. But I have to admit, this was very fun. We have both made a time to time plan of what we're going to get done. Showing the evidence. I'm embarrassed because I'm already 40 minutes late to my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my, sorry for my handwriting, but that's how I do it. My I timetable. No yeah, you can go the fancy developer, <laughs> or you can go the natural, old school. I feel like I have levels of studying. There's certain work I can do where I'm like, okay, I can dip in and dip out of this. I can discuss it if I need to. Sometimes I'll listen to music with lyrics, but generally I listen to some study lo-fi. And here I was just trying to get ahead on pre-readings before the onslaught of assignments next week. You will never guess who I am now meeting. The OG people who watch me backpack Australia will know. There is this German girl called Ava who was my age. She was also on a gap year. She was an au pair in Australia. I somehow bumped into her on the East Coast at least three times. It might have been four. She's not from Berlin, but she is visiting Berlin with her family this weekend. So I'm gonna have a reunion with her. It's going to a little cafe. We're gonna chill. We're gonna catch up. Moments like this where life comes full circle again and you meet someone who you met in such a random location. This is casual magic. This just makes you feel like you're one tiny node in a massive human network and then we're all so interlinked. I've always loved the expression small world because I think it's true, especially nowadays. One of my favorite things about Berlin is that every single wall has a story. Whether it's in the rich history of the building, the plaques on the floor that tell you about it, or in the art and the graffiti and the expressive nature of the walls. There's just always something to look at and learn from. It. Cheers! It's Ava! Me again. Ava, okay, really rapid life update. What are you up to right now? I switched like topics in uni. <laughs> I, me and my family bought a flat in Berlin. That's why I'm here now. Amazing. So I might come to Berlin temp mm. right, temp Come live here. Yeah. Hey, we're reunited. So as I'm going out really early, <laughs> this girl here is going to bed. <laughs> This explains perfectly our dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lana woke up at 4am to do her assignment and she's not going to sleep and it's meant to be the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> How are you so awake? Because I'm on 
nice person. <laughs> it's, it's not nice. 7 a.m. Also, the sun, it didn't even rise yet. I know. How? It rises in half an hour. You look cute. I'm going to go to bed now. Sleep well. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm really going for Berlin vibe. <laughs> Everyone in Berlin just wears all black. And then my iconic vegan Doc Martens, which I have been wanting for years, but I just constantly procrastinate to getting. My bank account hates me, but I love me. I genuinely just feel so powerful when I wear them. Like, oh, they're so warm, they're waterproof, they last like 10 years. Even though I'm tired, I've got to say, it's really nice getting up early. I've just been swept away by life in the day-to-day -day for the last few weeks. Like, just trying to meet every deadline that I could, but not really properly planning and structuring my time to be most effective. And because almost every single day at Minerva has to be a bit of a study day, I went and found a cafe. This is everywhere in Berlin. We stand and did some more work. One of my favourite things to do on Notion is to create a monthly overview. I have templates that I use where I plan out each week and roughly visualise what I want to get done, some high level goals for the month. Then I headed to one of my favourite co-working spaces with two of my friends. I did some planning for an upcoming assignment and I edited a video or most of a video. And then I went on an adventure, finally. Look how beautiful! Just kidding, this is the beautiful part. <laughs> Welcome to Charlottenburg Schloss, aka Charlottenburg Palace. It's honestly freezing. I've been wanting to come here since I came to Berlin. But we live on the complete opposite side of the city, so we're coming here. It was like an hour bike ride, but we did it. We've not got any classes for uni today, we've not got any assignments due. Me and Lara for today are going to explore Charlottenburg. Also, it's so cool. I put on my story like, guys, best recommendations in Berlin, tell me. And sometimes I feel like I just, I just have the world at my fingertips in you guys. Like, I can't thank you enough. Your recommendations are amazing. We sat in a cafe and we were just researching all these niche cool places that you guys said. I would love to make a Notion page, like in gallery view, with links to all these cool places. And if I finish that, I can share it to you guys if you would like some cool recommendations for Berlin. <laughs> it's the energy, people! <laughs> My phone just died, but we just did the whack outside Charlottenburg. Mm. This is just a public shout out to Lara because that girl over there, little angel. Lara, you make my day every day. <laughs> <laughs> Go on! Ready? Catwalk! Go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Chloe thinks she has me. How much would you pay to not have to do it? The world. <laughs> okay, so you know sometimes you have these moments where you feel like you're in a movie. This was one of them. We stood at the intersection of some of the grandest buildings and it was just me and my roommates on our bikes and then there was this man and he was playing a violin and he wasn't busking, he wasn't looking for money, he was just playing for the fun of it. It's beautiful. And in the darkness when he was standing under that street lamp, just for a second it looked like it was a spotlight on him, as though he was playing to thousands. It was really beautiful. We went and sat by and just listened. That night, one of my amazing Brazilian friends made tapioca for me, which I've never had before. Highly recommend. Kind of like a pancake. Super recommend. Brown Bulls Donuts is becoming a bit of a tradition for us. A vegan, they're my favorite chain here. Honestly, I think this vlog is partly just an ode to Lara. <laughs> I'm watching it back and this was just a very roommate filled good energy time. It was actually Lada's birthday that week. Which means that me, Gabriel and Pedro prepared a surprise for her. We bought her some cute little gifts. We made a surprise video for her, which is why we were really behind on our assignments, but it's worth it. And one of the most memorable things is that we all gave a little speech. Thank you so much for making my life. Oh, we love you. 
And it really is crazy to me that I hardly knew any of these people before this semester. I knew them very vaguely. Who's 19? Let's go! And they're just wonderful. <laughs> We have a good time. We we talk every night for like two or three hours about random things and debrief our days. I hope you guys are good. I hope you're having a beautiful week. I'm sorry for my lack of consistency. I am struggling with workload. What are you grateful for today? Okay. Bye.